A very good morning and welcome to the 2017 AI African Pension and Sovereign Wealth Fund uh, Leaders Summit. Through our series of uh, CEO investment roadshows, Africa Investor has dedicated itself to intermediating capital, to African investment opportunities in association with our domestic and global investment partners. For its part, uh, AI Capital continues to originate, advise on transactions and advise governments, development finance institutions and investors on opportunities in Africa. Uh, we're fortunate to have mobilized significant investment for our partners into the continent over the years and we trust that this summit uh, will also support transactions and nurture important relationships for all of you. We host this summit uh, twice a year, an international edition in New York around the UN General Assembly and on the continent each year ahead of the World Economic Forum on Africa. Today's summit really builds on the 2016 event that we held at NASDAQ in New York, which took place on the eve of President Obama's US-Africa Business Leadership Summit. Our summit conveyed a message which was, we, we welcome and we support the evolving relationship between the US and Africa in terms of the economic relationship and we recognize the progress made in terms of the new investment partnership, which had a focus on moving you know, much closer to where we would like it to be. So it started at an aid relationship, and then it went to, from an aid to a trade relationship. And it ended up last year at a, an investment relationship. So we've gone from aid to trade, trade to investment. But we then called on the administration, uh, our colleagues in governments from across the continent, as well as our um, respective institutional investment leaders and partners to collaborate and see if we can just take the agenda forward just a little bit more. And we were calling from <coughs> an additional last step, which is to engage the institutional investment community in this US-Africa economic partnership. So we're calling for moving from investment to long-term institutional investment partnerships because we know the power of capital and we know the expertise and the resource that you all willed in terms of your, your knowledge, um, investing in many jurisdictions, you know, adding to economic growth and, and societal development. Many pension plans, as we know, are under target pressures, and there is a strong case for superior and diversified returns that can be generated from increasing allocations and institutional flows to Africa. Additionally, with the global and geopolitical risk factors increasing, many of which we believe Africa is decoupled from, together with G20's focus on mobilizing institutional investment into long-term assets, and Basel III and Basel IV all being phased in, all the dynamics, you know, we, we believe there's an inflection point right now in terms of there's a, a need for new approaches, new stakeholders, new strategies to infrastructure investing globally. So we believe that there's a real opportunity presented by the continent's $50 billion per annum infrastructure deficit, which governments and development partners, by their own admission, um, are not resourced to meet, so that we need new partnerships. We believe there's a beneficial role for the global and domestic institutional investment community to play in that process. So much of this summit will therefore be devoted to unpacking the dynamics uh, presented by these issues. So we hope to go some way to addressing um, the multitude of questions around getting comfortable with Africa as a geography. In particular, the geopolitical environment, transaction pipelines, the state of investment governance, and successful strategies to access Africa's public and private markets. So in keeping with today's theme, which is facilitating pension fund um, investment partnerships with African asset owners, there's going to be a number of activities between African and US asset owners to forge those important relationships we believe that will be essential to investigating co-investments and allocating to Africa uh, with insight and confidence. We have a great program for you over the next two days, 60 authoritative speakers. Tomorrow we commence with an EU business leaders breakfast dialogue, which will see the launch of the EU's new 4.1 billion euro external investment plan for the continent. This will be followed by a closed door asset owners roundtable co-hosted with NASP and USAID. And we're also going to be bringing together infrastructure project developers for an all day meeting co-hosted with Africa 50 and institutional partners such as the African Development Bank, the International Finance Corporation, the European Investment Bank and the Development Bank of Southern Africa. 
So we're going to showcase a number of exciting companies at the forefront of developing investable infrastructure project pipelines. And we will also receive two heads of state, the president of both Senegal, who is also the chair of the um, Heads of State and Government Orientation Committee for the African Union, reporting into 22 heads of state. Um, we value that particular relationship because it gives us access to the policymakers at the highest level across the continent. Now, many of you who are already investing in the continent may in some form have used uh, Mauritius as a destination. So we're going to have the uh, president of Mauritius to come and talk to us about some of the opportunities that the country has and its legal and regulatory framework um, and investor protection um, you know, environment. Please also note that we will be hosting the next installment of our AI Sovereign Wealth and Pension Fund Leaders Summit on September the 18th in New York ahead of the UN uh, General Assembly. And of course, you are all invited and welcome to come to that event. So in closing, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank the Trade and Development Bank, our longtime partner, and all the partners that you should see listed on the cover of the brochure for making this event uh, possible. So without further ado, I'd like to wish you all a fruitful summit and ask you to join me in welcoming the Honorable Mr. Joe Gatti, Minister of Railways Development from the Government of Ghana to give his keynote address. He's a lawyer, um, very steeped in investor protection issues. I think he's actually writing quite a, an insightful book on that at the moment, which we, we're looking forward to the launch of. Um, he's the former Attorney General of the Government of Ghana. Um, please join me in welcoming him. Thank you. Doing business in Africa. You can't afford to be without Africa Investor.